All right, guys, I'm doing a live video this time. I'm still working on uh, really putting these DJI goggles, there they are, through the paces. I wanted to get this video out kind of as soon as possible, but I don't have a lot of time to edit and stuff today, so I just wanted to do a live video. So this is the fourth video I've made about these DJI goggles, kind of reviewing them and looking at the different functions specific to racing. There's a lot of stuff out there from the you know AP aerial photography guys. I wanted to know how viable are these goggles for racing, so I've been making a bunch of videos. If you haven't seen those, feel free to head over to my YouTube channel, Heart of America FPV. I've got them all there or on my Facebook page or whatever. So this video though, I wanted to specifically talk about the analog channel range. Racing drones, one of these, they have little antennas on them and they broadcast an analog video signal on the 5.8 gigahertz frequency bands, I guess. Transmitters we use, I just looked at them. I have a card here. It's from the good folks at Ready Day Quads. <laughs> and I keep this around because it's a frequency chart. The lowest one on this chart, I will say this is the lowest one I use because I think it's illegal to use it, but the lowest frequency on this chart is 5645, and the highest frequency on this chart is 5945. J-Rod, Mr. Third place, I think, at Nationals, he wanted to know, and I did too, like what is the actual range that these goggles can pick up? And the goggles are much different than our typical racing goggles. I don't have mine handy. My Trudy diversity module in the Fat Shark goggles, that lets us select the channel, you know, the band and the channel. Like I could select band A, channel four or whatever. These don't do that. There's no A, B, E, F race. There's none of that. There's literally just raw frequencies that you can punch in. However, the range is only 5650 through 58. 50. So any of the channels that are outside of that range, these goggles will not pick up. I am working on probably one of my next videos will be a video about how to get a ground station video feed into these goggles. I'm really excited about that video, so definitely look back for it. This isn't a deal breaker for me because I had planned on using this with Clearview anyway. And the latency still might be a deal breaker for me, but I wanted to run down the list of channels that do not work natively with these goggles. And that would be A1, B8, E4, E5, E6, E7, and E8, F7, F8, Race Band 7, and Race Band 8. None of those channels natively work in these goggles. So that is the uh, frequency range of these DJI uh, Race Edition goggles. So pretty big fail, DJI. I understand that not all the frequencies are legal to broadcast on, so that might be why they did the range the way that they did. I don't think it's illegal to listen on those frequencies, and as an analog receiver, you're listening. So I'm a little confused in regard to why they omitted you know, so many bands that we use for FPV racing. So so just know that that's the case and I uh, hope it helped you out. If you're interested in these goggles, I'll put links to everything in the description. Feel free to check it out. Head over to my channel, subscribe to that and uh, keep up with what's going on. Um, you definitely wanna see the video flash it across the screen, ready? That's what I'm gonna use to get an external ground station into these goggles. So pretty excited about that video, but we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning in and uh, yeah, happy flying. That's Joshua Bartonwell thing. All right, later.